Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Anita and the Men. I'm Brian Chewett as we bring you to this Sunday morning broadcast of springing forward and fall, fall back here on this blessed Sunday morning here from Los Angeles, California. And good evening to our Asia listeners and brothers and sisters. We love you in the name of the Lord, guiding forward in the name of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're going to be speaking of what we reap, what we sow. And we're going to be in Galatians chapter 6 today. So as we move into this morning, as we move into the embrace of Christ, let's go into this newness of this day. Again, I'm Brian Tewitt of Morning Star Communications, No Chemistry Ministries. We welcome you live from our, from our broadcast from Los Angeles, California. And let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Lord, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live in the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the loving truth of this love. We thank you for the kindness and the endurance that you brought each and every one of us to to our time, to your time, to be here with you, to, to, to love you, to be guided by you, to travel upon your whispers every wind, to have you set us where you want us to be, to spread your word, to proclaim your word, and to go with your word in the matchless name of Jesus. Jesus' name, amen. amen. This is the day the Lord has made on this beautiful Sunday morning here, getting uh, things ready for this new day. We have to be not so much a gentler, competitive world that we live in, but we have to be consistent, competitive, blessed world that we live in. We need to digest <coughs> the living word of God into each and every embrace that we have for, for our lives right now. In this time that we've established for ourselves, in this time that we have connected with ourselves, we have to understand that the connection lies with what God is trying to bring to us, what God is trying to show unto us and bring to us. We sing of the truth, the truth of the Holy Spirit. We sing of this love right now. We sing of, of the benevolence of the Lord Jesus Christ guiding us to that embrace, guiding us to that sweet, sweet, loving truth. In Jesus' precious name. As we move into our day here, let's focus on our reality of our redemption with God. Let's go right into Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 9. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever man sows, that he will, be also, that he will also reap. For he who sows to the flesh will, will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows of the Spirit will will the Spirit reap everlasting life. Let us know we're wary while doing good for the due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. If we do not lose heart. We come into this time, brothers and sisters, of the sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ guiding us to our time, guiding us to God's loving truth of His time now. Are you ready for the rapture, brothers and sisters? Are you ready to be to be moved into the unison of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind in which judgment of Christ? Are you ready to be called? So we have the implications or the principles of, of reaping what we sow. What are what we are today is due to what we did yesterday. Our position, attitude, character is a result of our actions of the past. We cannot lay blame of heredity, environment, parents, society, etc. We cannot blame um, anyone else for these problems because we can shut the door of our past, have the power of choice to move forward in the name of the Lord. Such things are influenced not only to the degree that, that we let them happen to us. We don't stay strong in the Lord. We don't stay strong with ourselves. We don't take a stand enough. We must accept responsibility for our actions, for God will 
demanded demanded of us from us in one day. Second Corinthians chapter five verse ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body, according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Truly, the presence reveals much about the past. What we are tomorrow will be due to what we do today, as I just said. We can change if we do not like what we are doing today. We can change that. We can move that. We can move mountains with the power of faith. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. All things become new. In the name of the Lord, all things become your your, your time stamp, your moment, your inheritance of the truth, guiding us to what the Lord is giving to you, guiding us to that everlasting love that brings us to the embrace of the inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, let go of the old, be of the new, in the master's name of Jesus. Share into this inheritance of God's love. Share into the inheritance of the truth that God has bestowed on, on each and every one of us. On this day, our daily bread, we are given so many choices. So many choices. That either we can stay and sow in the flesh, those who sow in the flesh reaps corruption, sorrows, disease, damnation. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. Chapter 5, believe chapter 5, verse 21. And be murdered, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told, told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will instead experience the wrath of God. Ephesians chapter 5, 5 through 7. For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor a covenant, nor idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of God, of king, kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Do not be partakers with them. Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Of this time, do not lay hands on anyone hastily, do not, nor shy in other people's sins. Keep yourself pure. Guide yourself into the inheritance of the living truth of God. Guide us with what this entails. This entails working in the Spirit. This, those who show to the Spirit reap everlasting life. Those who sow in the Spirit shall reap everlasting life. Sow in the Spirit. Those who also reap in the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23. You hear me say this every broadcast. Your life must live upon the nine cylinders uh, of the nine fruits of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, against such there is no law. No law. But the loving truth of God's grace. But the loving expression. In Romans chapter 15, verse 14, Now I myself am confident concerning you, my brethren, that you also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another to move and to admonish one another. We are sharing in good things taught in the Word. Amen. Galatians 6.6 6, Let him who taught the Word share in all things with him who teaches. And I hope you have a clean sheet and notebook paper. You can always go back on this broadcast and to jot down the little tap dance to the scriptures that we're doing always, as we always do. And that is the beautiful truth of how Lord is blessed. May you anoint a beautiful wife, Anita, and yours truly bride you with being unconventional, being genuine, being unique, 
trying to be perfect as God is in heaven is perfect. And you have a calling. Not the same as our calling, but a calling to bring your hidden gifts out. Just under a year ago, we started broadcasting our services over five networks. We got the network that, I, that the Lord had me placed down some time ago called Jcast over com. We got YouTube, we got Ustream, we got Twitter Live, we got Facebook Live, and, and, and Ustream as well. I forgot that. We come, such parables are out, are out there. Such highways and the byways to send the living word of God are out there. And we make it available for everybody, from translation teams in Asia to being on networks that go to every street corner of the world from your iPhone to the iPad to your computer everywhere so we are doing what God has ordained us to do Amen. now we have done our job Lord is we have come halfway to the playing field of life with Jesus Christ now you must show your hunger and meet us halfway as well first Timothy chapter 6 17 through 19. Command those who are rich in the present age not to be haughty, not to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to, to enjoy. Let them do good that they be rich in the good works, ready to give, willing to share, store up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. That they may hold on to eternal life. Seeking this, brothers and sisters, seeking this time, seeking the inheritance of what God has blessed and called us to be, seeking this truth right now. This endless realm of your matchless name of Jesus coming to you. Yeah, how does this all begin? We always need a starting gate, a starting block. To know where to begin, where to end. I share this story, but many decades ago, in different parts of the North America, and, and before the calling of our duties of God's ministers, how my wife actually and I first met is when we turned our lives over to the Lord. Different times, different parts of, the, of North America. And this can happen to you. God can, will anoint you with a spouse. Doesn't mean it's going to happen the following day. I can. You just have to believe in your heart that you shall have it. You shall receive it. As we turned our life to the Lord, we chose the rule of the absolute truth. God gave us a new set of eyes and gave us his vision. And God gave us the clarity of the mind and, and a new heart. He moved the old stone of the old heart and gave us a new heart. This can happen to you right now. God is married to the backslider. And we are all born into sin. And we can thank Adam and Eve for that. But God gives us power through his life, through his death, through his burial and resurrection to, to live and remove any, any type of sin and to have the Garden of Eden placed into our hearts through the power of wisdom. God gives you that sweet embrace of the new tomorrow. God gives you that joy of the morning. No one of the ways a man can, can, can articulate that to you but God. And but God has a new life for you. So if you are caught up in a backsliding nature, if you're caught up in addiction, caught up in thinking you're too dark to know God, or I really seem quite often too good to know God. Oh, please. We come, whatever your sin is, from a petty thief to selling arms to terrorists, lay down your sinful arms and pick up the arms of Christ. Receive God's arms, love and embrace. And let him wrap his redemption around you. It's time to be redeemed. 
time to come forward with Christ. This is where we ask our experienced Christian viewers who have been caught up in different types of sinful nature to come forward in the Lord's behalf of your life be committed. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, I just heard in someone's spirit that they know all this. Then why aren't you living it? For whosoever is you shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God. Dear God. I admit. Repeat this after me. I admit I am a sinner. And I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I am only right now to turn from his sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control. To make me the kind of person. To make the world the kind of blessings that you have always wanted us to be. In Jesus' name. As my wife prays your name in the background, I am lifting your name up before the throne of God. And most important, before the throne of God are God's very own angels singing your name for being born again. For being born again. Now there is no time stamp of coming forward with Christ. But we do, God, the Bible does instruct us to make a public testimony of our loving, of our surrender unto Christ in Jesus' name. As you move into your new life with Christ, as you move into the offering of your experiences, God gives you the truth. God gives you that life. God gives you that expression of love deeper and deeper into your heart. Lord, we want to know you. Lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is there for you right now. He's going to teach you that your first offering is the offering of obedience. Yeah. Will you get yourself into a faith-based spirit like church, midweek Bible study, Sunday services of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. And you should receive those people that, that God is sending your way to instruct you teach you the living word of God, to guide you into his everlasting path, to be a major part of your life, and to get into the gospel of truth, the double-edged sword, to compare the lying words of Satan, and expose him. But this does not, we cannot teach the Bible ourselves. We can read the scriptures, but we have to know, we have to be rooted into the scriptures, we have to be grounded, we have to be digest this, let this be our fruit and vegetables, steak and potatoes, and all kinds of edible delicacies that God bring, is bringing you through these scriptures. And with this time, God's endless rhyme, and I say that often because eternity is a beautiful truth. There's only two roads of eternity, hell, kingdom bound, heaven bound. To those who think they can fool everybody and say, um, I'll, I'll fool everyone and live in the middle while well, there's no room for lukewarm impact, Jesus will spit you out right now for being lukewarm. We come into the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ to guide you into his moments, his path, his, his moments right now. In the master's name of Jesus, we sing of this truth, we sing of his love. We have the need. Now, with this invitation, there was also the invitation that we want to get to know you, know you, see you and we want, we want you to know us. So come visit us at BrianQ.com, BrianQ.com, and be part of our evangelical team, our medical team, our translation team, all the auxiliaries that you see there, our missions team, planting missionary teams in many other countries, developing them, nurturing them, and loving them. And we need you to become a financial partner with us. And we can bless you and guide you that your blessings will come back to you many-fold blessed by God. And as Jesus speaking of just one blessing from you, millions of other blessings coming from God. As you place your financial seed into this ministry, John shows you the vision of John chapter... I mean, Jesus shows, shows, shows you the vision of 
John chapter 4, verse 35, that your fields are white. Your harvest is now. And you, you don't have to wait four months from now. It's white. It's ready. But you're picking, and God's going to prune you and change you with it's just one blessing, with a million more to come. Jesus then brings you from the vision to the manifestation, where the living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And as in Malachi chapter 3, the windows of heaven will open up above you, pour down blessings upon you, that you'll have no room in your storehouse to save them, to keep them, to plant them. In Jesus' precious name. Now there's a couple of different ways you can send us your donation, your tithes and offices. Go to our BrianTuit.com, click on our contact link, you see the physical address there. Make your checks payable to Morningstar Communications Network, MCM Ministries. That's Morningstar Communications Network, MCM Ministries. We're a 501c3 certified church here in the United States. We go into the folds of Christ. We go into the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We go into this time, God's endless realm of your love, to the inheritance God wants us to have. And then you will get your receipt after the first of the year from us for your, for your taxes as well as uh, if you click on the donation link, you get a receipt right away, as, as well as after the first of the year. And uh, again, we love you, the, the majesty, of the, the truthfulness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you for prayers and support out of time. In Jesus' precious name. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live. In the secrets of our heart, we thank you for this truth. We thank you for your love. We thank you for guiding us sweet embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Our truth, our love sings out to the heavenlies and your answer prayer starts in the throne room of God. We come into this expression to be, to have the need of patience and perseverance. The labor is not in vain. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 15. Therefore, my beloved, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is, is not in vain in the Lord. The reaping will come at the proper time, the coming of the Lord. James chapter 5, verse 7. Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and late and later rain. What we shall reap if we don't lose heart and give up. So we learn from our farmers, have faith like a farmer. We go into the power of choices, the power of God's anointing love to guide us into that sweet embrace that God brings to each and every one of us. Eternal life awaits for those who are willing to sow to the Spirit by patiently doing good. Eternal life to those who, who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. That's Romans chapter 2, verse 7. Brothers and sisters, be obedient to the gospel of truth. Come in the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9, sings this out to you. Having been perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. In Jesus' precious name and loving truth. Go forth on this Sunday evening, this Sunday morning, wherever you are. It is 7.06 a.m. here in Los Angeles for those who do not adjust their clocks. And we thank you for the loving truth of the Lord Jesus Christ coming to you. Now go. Proclaim the living word of God, and, and sow, sow seed into this ministry, sow seed by being faithful and true to the heavens, to the Lord Jesus Christ, to your families, to your loved ones. For you have the power to change. Do it for, your, do it for Christ, do it for your family, do it for yourself. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our house before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the loving truth of the guidance. We thank you for the loving truth of this day. We thank you for this eternal, eternal reality that, that you, you 
bestowed upon us to focus on our reality of our redemption with God. We sing of the loving truth. We sing of this time God's endless remember of His love. Guidance to the sweet embrace of this new day. Guidance to this sweet embrace of this restful evening in the Asia Pacific Rim countries. We thank you for the new mercies of this day. We thank you for the wisdom and discernment of this day. We thank you for the loving truth and guidance. For the matchless name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this morning from Los Angeles, California. And on behalf of Anita Hewitt and myself, Brian Hewitt, the man, we thank you for your time. Until next time, do stay up to date with all of our news and information of exciting crusades coming to your part of the world on BrianHewitt.com. BrianHewitt.com. And do visit our, our, our online store and our prayer request line at BrianHewitt.com. And we walk by faith, not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day.